Bonjour tout le monde! Donc aujourd'hui, on va faire notre mardi machine truc. On va faire les pouring, uh, paint pouring. So we're going to do paint pouring today, guys. I'm just mixing up the paints because I figured you didn't need to sit here and watch me mix paints. C'est pas nécessaire de me regarder mélanger les peintures. Je vais expliquer ce que j'ai fait. Donc, je vais vous montrer deux sortes de pouring aujourd'hui. I'm going to work with two different ones. Today, I'm working with Dina Wakely's paints. And we add in Dina's pouring medium as well as her cell creator. And then I'm also going to show you the American Craft ones that are already pre-mixed. Both are beautiful. I just happen to love Dina's paint colors. So, I think there's a larger variety, but I'm sure that the color pour from American Crafts is going to increase its quantity of colors. So, ce que j'ai fait ici, ça c'est les petits tasses, ils viennent dans un paquet, cinq ensemble avec le bâtonnet, puis j'ai mis comme mm, un petit portion que je vais vous montrer après de la couleur, puis un, un portion de la couleur, trois portions de la color, de uh, pouring medium. Donc à ce temps-là, je le mélange. Ça, c'est le pouring medium. Big bottle Et les peintures que j'ai utilisées, c'est celle de Dina. So, these are the uh, paints that I'm using right now, are the Dina Wakely paints. I put one portion of paint to approximately three portions of pouring medium. The pouring medium comes in two sizes. The, the big eight ounce bottle comes by itself, and you can get a cell creator, which I'll explain after in uh, one fluid ounce, or you can get the kit. So this is four ounces with a half ounce bottle. Donc, ça, il vient en deux, tu peux l'acheter en deux façons. Un, c'est le gros, le gros pot de pouring medium, ou le petit qui vient déjà avec le cell creator, et je vais vous expliquer après c'est quoi le cell creator. OK, cela ça ne change pas beaucoup la couleur. Mais tu vois, je mélange chacune. So I'm mixing each one really well. And at first, we're going to do a more controlled pour. And then we'll lead into a dirty pour. Okay, have a few people saying hi here while you're mixing. Sure. Valerie Rowe, Diane Blain, uh, Sylvie, Diane Bourassa, Jenny, Diane Pilon, France de Verne, May Comme Toi, Odette. Uh, wow, hi guys. And Odette says she's, uh, merci pour la demo, j'avais très hâte. <laughs> and we're very excited too. The machine truc is back after a long awaited break. As usual, please don't be shy to ask any questions if it comes to what product are you using, uh, you know, anything with the technique, we'll be happy to answer any questions. And even if you're watching this later, not live, still please, please feel free to put your questions up because we continue to look at the comments and on va répondre à toutes les questions. OK, I just noticed that some of these aren't completely mixed. Donc, je mélange juste un petit peu plus. Puis, maintenant, je vais mettre le Cell Creator. Donc, ça ici, si je vous montre mon Canva d'avant, le Cell Creator, c'est qu'est-ce qui fait les boules dans la peinture. Ça s'appelle des cells. Et la plus qu'on met, le plus petit, les cells vont être. Donc, moi, je mets dans ceux-là, je vais mettre, pas dans toutes les couleurs, je vais mettre dans quelques couleurs, mais je vais en mettre comme, hmm. Donc, la couleur que j'utilise, c'est cheddar. Donc, cheddar, j'ai mis comme deux gouttes. Euh, ceux-là, c'est eggplant. Je vais en mettre un peu dans eggplant. Hmm, trois ou quatre gouttes. Puis, ceux-là, c'est marine. Je pense... Non, pas marine. Dans peacock, je vais le mettre quelques-uns de, de plus. Donc, pas beaucoup, beaucoup. On met juste un petit peu. Puis maintenant, il faut que je les mélange. Quand tu l'achètes, le paquet des tasses, tu as assez de bâtons pour mettre une dans chaque couleur. Mais moi, je le nettoie sur mon... mon euh, c'est un tablier, je pense. Donc... Je le nettoie chaque fois sur mon tablier. Et comme c'est comme un, un plastique, ça ne reste pas dessus, puis je le nettoie. OK, donc, gently, we're going to stir in the cell creator. I put just a few drops in a couple of the colors. 
And the cell creator is what gives you all those little bubbles on your canvas. So you're gonna see that that's what's going to, you see, it's not exciting to watch me mix paints. Yeah, <laughs> well, I will say here are the paints that were used. So the Dina Wakeley and the names were said beforehand, but I didn't nice say all of them because I didn't talk colors. about Sedona. We have Marine, Sedona, Cheddar, which if you ask Dina Wakeley, Cheddar, everybody needs a little Cheddar, she says. Mm -hmm. And Buff. Buff is just to brighten it up because I went with fall colors. Okay, now I am just going to do a controlled pour to start. Donc, ceux-là, je vais verser le montant que je veux. Je vais pas faire ce qui s'appelle a dirty pour. Et je vais pas mettre beaucoup. J'ai mis un papier aquarelle en dessous pour peut-être je peux jouer avec ça après parce que tu vas le voir que beaucoup de peintures coulent de les coins. Et ça dépend combien de peintures que tu, as, tu le mets. Donc, moi, j'ai pas pratiqué ça avant. <rire> Donc, en le fait, Erin m'a dit, « Est-ce que tu as pratiqué? » J'ai dit, « Non, non, on va faire en avant de tout le monde. » Donc, il faut être patiente avec moi. So, I didn't practice this. Erin kept bugging me. Are you, did you practice? Did you practice? And I kept saying, no, no, I'm just going to wing it. So, be patient with me. We're going to see what comes out. We're learning together. So, now I'm going to take them Dun -dun -dun. and I'm just going to pour a little bit. Now, I'm using a canvas right now. I'm hoping it's not too absorbent, but... I'm going to pour some. We have a question here while sure. you're pouring. Mm -hmm. Are those the same paints you use for other types of projects like gel plates, etc., or just for pouring? Nope. These, these specific paints, these are Dina Wakely Media Paints. They're great in your art journals. They're, uh, used they're for fantastic many other for things. everything. Yeah but uh, I'm using them now. I just added pouring medium. So any acrylic paint, you can add pouring medium yes. and make it pourable and do this technique. So it needs the pouring medium, but afterwards we are gonna try one with the pre-mixed yes. new American craft paints that we showed in last week's video. Okay, I think I put on too many colors but before thank you moving for your them. <laughs> so we're gonna see. Let's see how it goes. So I didn't. And now, again, I might not have put enough pouring medium. We're learning together, remember? Yes. But, ooh. Cool. Hang see, on. I just like I'll, to watch I'll it move. I'll aim it towards you in a minute. No, no, they can see. And, so just, you, and you can kind of guide it, I guess. Yeah. yeah, you can guide it a bit. Now, I don't have enough paint on here, and I know that. But I want to move it a little. So I'm gonna, whoops, I don't wanna mix it too much. Yeah, I don't wanna get like a brown. No, we don't wanna get brown. Just wanna guide, yeah. You just Look wanna, at that. You just pull the color through. Now, on veut couvrir toute la surface. Donc, oh mama, j'ai pas mis assez de peinture et je sais que j'ai pas mis assez, mais je veux contrôler un petit peu uh, la peinture, puis je vais so en fun. ajouter plus. Looks so fun, guys. Look at it all move. <gasps> okay. That's so cool. Donc, you see the cells starting already? Donc, dans les couleurs que j'ai mis le cell creator, in the color that I, I put the cell creator, you can see all these tiny little cells starting. That part I did right. Is anyone else as, like, freaking out as I am? I think this is so cool. And these colors. Oop. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. You got to be forgiving with the pour. Sorry and for the glare you guys need, get sometimes. We need, yeah, because the paint, la peinture est glossy. Yeah. Donc, it's going to give you, now I'm putting in just a tiny bit of buff to brighten it up a bit. Angela Williamson says, so fun. It looks so fun. It really is. So let's move it around a bit more and try and get this surface covered. I just love that you can't you can't make two the same. Like it's just so no. And no matter what, you're gonna get something cool. You can what you can do is you can make a series with yeah. the same colors. Which would be so cool, just hung up like different size canvas. Donc on peut faire une série de toute la même couleur, mais tu vas jamais avoir deux la même. For anyone with kids too, if you get, you know, if they have a color scheme of their room and you get a couple of those colors with some colors they like and, and make like a a big canvas or a small one or whatever, I think these look 
amazing in rooms and I have a lot of friends who have them up in their rooms so just good idea or your kids can even do them oui c'est une autre technique qui est vraiment fun pour les enfants imagine, de faire oui ima imagine they get to make it and then they get to put it up in their room I am just loving this I, I know it's even, so cool I don't even want to put more color and I have to <laughs> I have to because there's not enough paint look at this effect it's so cool donc je ramasse un petit peu de la peinture d'en bas so I'm picking up a little bit of the paint from the bottom and I'm feeling that we need a bit more Sedona because this color is heavenly. I know, look at it in there. I'm gonna put a bit so, more so Sedona. You just, you just keep adding and looking and, but I, this effect putting, that you have right in here is so cool. So I put a bit more Sedona. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of Peacock with it. It's so easy. I didn't realize how easy it is. Right? And over here, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of buff. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now, the buff, I think I'm just gonna marble a little. And then pull that through. And then this, we're just gonna pull some color through it. Souvent, si on joue trop, on va pas aimer ce qu'on nous yeah, résultats. Don't want to overthink it. Mais encore, j'ai pas assez de peinture sur le canvas. Donc, je pense que j'ai assez trop pour le contrôler. Mais tu vas voir quand on fait un dirty pour après, tu vas le voir que c'est vraiment différent. Puis on utilise beaucoup plus de peinture. Donc, je vais l'ajouter une fois encore mon eggplant. Et cela, je vais acheter assez avec marine. Voilà. Et un goût de cheddar pour Dina. And another little touch of cheddar for Dina. And let's watch these babies go. Sorry, did I say that? <laughs> Look. Et bonjour à tout le monde qui uh, continue à nous joindre. Pour cette vidéo, merci beaucoup. Oh, I meant to put on gloves. <laughs> Oops. I'll put them on after this. Because I'm getting coated. Yes, gloves are definitely a good idea. All right. Next time. So, l'autre chose à souvenir, c'est que demain, ou ce soir même, ça va pas l'air la même. So the other good thing, the other good thing, the other thing you have to remember, you're going to fall in love with it, but it's going to continue to change. So keep in mind, it will still continue to change. Now, I have not had it drip down the sides too much, but I believe it'll continue to yeah. move. And who thinks we need a tiny bit more buff? I think we need a little bit there. We have another qu question here yep. from uh, Angela Williamson. Could you sprinkle glitter on it? Well, that I'm going to do that on the next one. I'm probably going to leave this one as is. But you're going to yes. see all the things we can While do. While it's wet, and... you can definitely sprinkle glitter. Again, keep in mind your glitter might move a bit. But if you show this one, Erin, I do have glitter on there. Yes. Now, the le, le chose fun avec le paint pour, c'est que ça, ça, ça reste sur tout. Tu peux le mettre sur la plastique, tu peux le mettre sur la métal, n'importe quoi. Toutes les surfaces, le, les, euh, le, du verre. Oh, okay. I think this one's done. I am loving it. Now, I wish I had a little bit more paint on there to go on the sides. Mais je l'aime beaucoup, beaucoup. I wish it was dripping a bit more down the sides. Very nice. So... So there's Loving one. That. We're going to let it dry. I'm gonna, I am going to let it drip a bit. You know, I could potentially cheat and Grab do that. Color. Look at that. Okay, guys, mm. je triche un petit peu, puis je prends les couleurs qui sont en bas, puis j'essaie de compléter mes côtés. <laughs> Pour ça, je ne perds pas de peinture. I'm going to get puis, a brown mixture a little bit, though, on the side. That's okay. It's not really brown because I didn't use that many colors that make brown but at least I can get some paint on my sides so it doesn't look completely blank. All right, who thinks we're done with this one? I do. I know Erin does. <laughs>
She's like, Mom, well, I'm let's here. Move I on. can answer right away. Well, you just don't want to do too much to it. No, we're going to leave it now. Okay? So we'll see what that looks like tomorrow. J'espère de vous montrer les résultats le jeudi. J'espère d'avoir. Oh, I need the paper towels. On va laisser sécher, puis on va vous montrer jeudi les résultats de toutes nos pores. So on Thursday, I'm hoping to be able to show you this. Diane Pilon dit peut-être la peinture est trop épaisse. I don't think it's too thick. Do it you? could be. Maybe sometimes you could put more pouring medium, mais je pense que c'est parce que j'étais pas certaine combien de le mettre. Uh. So I think it might have been that. Because now. Mais c'est très beau. Yes, I think it turned out very. Stop playing with it. I they're can't. Gonna, they're going to put too much. I can't. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. On va laisser comme ça. Maintenant. Carrie says pretty colors. Thank you. We'll see. Because we have a little bit of paint left, maybe I can manage a small dirty pour on. Okay. So a dirty pour, je sais pas le mot en français pour dirty pour, parce que je pense pour salé est pas un bon, un, un bon mot. Mais ce que je vais faire, je vais mettre la restante de toutes mes peintures oui, dans tellement, une peau. C'est comme magique, oui. quelqu'un a dit oui. It's like magic. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, a dirty pour is you really are just mixing all your colors together. Donc, on mélange toutes les restants des couleurs, tout dans une tasse. Probably I could have done them all in one here. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Because this is going to be too big. Excuse-moi. You <laughs> see, on fait ça ensemble. Yeah, see, so be patient with us a little bit. Okay, a dirty pour, on va tout mettre dans une. Toutes les différentes couleurs. Donc, je vais mettre le bleu. Après ça, je mets Sedona par-dessus. We have another canvas for a dirty pour? Yes. So, Dina makes media board, Dina Wakely. Oh, is that what this is? Uh-huh. It's Ooh. a package of all six of those pieces together. Look at that, just for like little play projects. Absolutely. So this I'm going to do on a small one because I don't know if I'm going to have enough paint left. So I am going to do that on a smaller one. Uh, too small. I'm going to do the mid-size, hopefully. Okay, donc je mets toutes les peintures, mais ces six petits canvas que Aaron vient de vous montrer, ils viennent dans un paquet. Le paquet est juste là, Aaron. Il s'appelle Media Board. Il vient les six ensemble ou elle a un paquet de trois. 8 par 10. Oh, OK. Yeah. Donc, vous pouvez faire même les plus grandes. Here's the... Voici le 8 par 10. Oh, 9 par 12. Oh, 9 par 12. Even better. Okay. Uh, another question here from yeah. Carrie Forrest. Can you add another liquid to the paints? Say, for example, you wanted to lighten it up. Lighten it up, I would do with a lighter color, which you'll see I'm going to do some light... I just chose fall colors because um, it's fall. Also, I think it, it gets darker the more that, because there were so many different I colors. I it, yes. It was mixed a lot, so it, exactly. gets, it gets darker. You're gonna exactly. get like the, the darker tones, but the less mixture in a different, like for example, here's this one here, which stayed a very similar color motif. Yes. So it remained very light. So you had the blues and the greens go together. Or this one I, here. I used a couple of very dark colors yeah. in here, and then I mixed it so you can see where the brown is. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit. So the more you play around with it, the more it's gonna, these colors might might get a little bit more browner. But yes, you can definitely, with lighter colors and colors that are in the same family a little bit more, you'll get a much lighter result. So you but see- Thank you for your question. It's great, guys, ask the questions. Yes, we love it. Il faut demander les questions. C'est pour cette raison qu'on fait live au lieu de, qu'on fait en direct au lieu de le faire yes. taper, yes. Uh, faire d'avance. Yeah. Parce que vous pouvez comme ça nous demander des questions tout de suite, puis on peut les répondre. Donc, ce que j'ai fait maintenant, so what I've done now is I put all the colors in one cup. Just on top of each other. On top, but yes. I'm not going to mix. Just leave them sit So there. you don't mix, parce que si on les mélange, 
on va avoir brun certainement. L'ami a dit, now, euh, j'adore et je, je veux suivre un cours. Un cours, oui. Okay. J'espère. Hopefully. OK. Ce que je vais faire maintenant, je vais mettre... I really think that's going to be too small. Je vais mettre ça par-dessus. And I'm going to turn it over. Just like that. And then... And you let her go. Oh! So exciting. Carrie said, love the flip. Sorry for my squeak. I'm sorry. My excitement got a, got a hold of, of got the best of me there. Oh my goodness. That's fun. That's going to so be a popular one. So that is called one. a dirty pour. Et comme ça, <gasps> on a moins de contrôle. Les couleurs, ils vont... Sco- the oh, cheddar in there is... I know. Uh, I know. Like Dina says, everybody needs a little bit of look, cheddar. We're getting all the, uh, the surprise faces. Look at that. You put cell, more cell creator in there? Or that was I just did what it. was That's left over. That's exactly what was in the colors already. That was already. still left over from the first time yeah. we put cell creator in just a few of the colors. Look at that. Yeah. So <gasps> that is without control. And that, is like you saw, pour. that's a dirty pour. L- people are loving it. Oh, cool. J'adore. Love it. Superbe. So you see, ça a l'air que c'est pas beaucoup de peinture, mais... Vraiment, c'était assez Look pour couvrir that. cette surface. And you can't, like, recreate that. It's, like, such a... Uh. Puis, je vais laisser comme ça. Parce que Everyone's moi, loving trouve... it. Yeah, no, I think it's perfect. I'm going to get a little bit more of the dark color off. Et on laisse comme ça. Et garde exactement les mêmes couleurs. Yep. So we use the exact same colors. Here we're seeing more of the cheddar in the buff. And here, because I played with it, we're seeing a lot more of the darker colors. And brown. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for all your wonderful... You're getting so many uh, wonderful comments here. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying. Très beau, les couleurs, très beau, magnifique. Wow, quel chef (laughs) d'oeuvre. Gal, je veux garder la tasse. I think I want to keep this cut. Yeah, isn't it cute? Well, you can't really see. No, you can see. It's painted very nicely in there. Okay, so... Now, Let's leave those I should to dry. Have a whole other box, and I think I will. I think I'm going to move this, guys. Give me one second. Bear with me. So I think, are we going to move on to American Crafts now? Yeah, I'm going to show them the pre-cord. Is this the colors that we picked, that we decided That's on? That's the colors we're using. So here's what we're using, Galaxy Surge. This is going to be big, though. So... It said, bravo, Nathalie. Good job. Very, okay. very cool. So... So we're using not. set of four, pre-mixed. So these are mixed already. You do not need to add pouring medium. Am exactly. I correct there? Exactly. That is but your you difference. But you still, mais il faut encore l'ajouter le sel magic. Yeah. Okay, donc si on veut les sel, on a besoin de ça encore. Yeah. Puis American Crafts, il fait des tasses aussi. Et il fait des, avec les mesures dessus. Donc vraiment, je pense que je vais garder ça aussi dans ma cuisine. Parce <laughs> que j'aime vraiment leur tasses. Uh, mais comme ça, vous pouvez mesurer si vous voulez exactement le même montant de chaque couleur. So if you want exactly the same amount of each color, etc. Yeah. So I think you all love the dirty pour. Yes, they did love. They said so everyone says I, I want to play with it. So I think what we're going to do with this is we're going to do a dirty pour. And it was the same color. So yeah, it just the colors turned out a little Absolutely. brighter on the second one. So it's just how they react. So this one, I'm going to do a dirty pour. And I don't even know if I'm going to measure. Do 9 gonna, by 12? I'm going to do a 9 by 12. I'm so excited. I need one that's flat. I think I flattened the bottom one. Yes. Donc, on veut que la surface soit Not le warped. plus plat possible. Yeah. Okay. Puis, je vais le mettre comme ça. All right. Puis, so, I think we have time. Yeah, we have time for a dirty pour. We're going to do one more. Dirty pour. And we're going to add a little bit of glitter at the end. I think already everyone wants to go and play on their own now. <laughs> I want to go home and play. Yeah, maintenant je pense ça, ça va être Aaron. This is going to be my new activity. Aaron's newest uh, préférence. Oh, that's so cool. Elle va faire just ça. Picture, or just picture like a birthday party for like, like I want to do that with my friends. Just like a bunch of us, like yep. with these can- canvases doing these dirty pours. There's Almost so many like ideas. Almost like a little paint night. Yeah. Now, pour ceux-là, j'ai déjà mélangé un peu de blanc avec le pouring medium. Parce que j'ai trouvé ces couleurs-là, il manque juste un petit peu de blanc, comme sur la couverture. Yes, they have a little bit. Yeah. Il y a juste une bande de blanc, yeah. puis moi, je trouve qu'on a besoin de ça. And what's great about these is uh, it shows you on the package what the colors would, could look like together. 
but of course they can look like much more than just this because as we saw the same colors twice created completely different exactly. looks exactly exactly so here's what i'm going to do i am going to pour in so the measures are by 25 mls <laughs> So Carrie Forrest just said, need to have a dirty martini for a dirty pour class. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So let's start with dark blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tiny bit of white between each layer. Okay. Look at me all go. All right. So you're going to do exact measurements here? Not just exact. To, all right. I see, can't do exact. No, it's too fun to just. Okay. So I've put in a bunch of the dark blue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the cell magic. These are all four ounce bottles, cells. by the way, that come in that pack. And they do sell them in eight ounce bottles. They which do. If this becomes very popular, I will bring in the eight ounce bottles. They're sold individually. But I thought the four ounce bottles, moi je trouvais les, les bouteilles de quatre ounces, ça nous aide aussi à quelle couleur vont ensemble. Yes. Donc j'ai trouvé que ça fait vraiment plus facile. Yeah. Donc, maintenant, je mets le cell magic. Okay. So that's the cell, uh, cell medium. Is that what it's called for the Dina? Cell, uh, cell creator. So cell, cell creator, creator cell, cell magic, magic, same thing. Okay. Donc, ceux-là, j'ai mélangé un petit peu. C'est juste, si je ajoute les couleurs un par-dessus de l'autre, je peux mettre le cell magic, les gouttes, mais je peux pas les mélanger. Yes, because you can't mix after they're on top. Right. So... so. Uh, puis, j'ai dit que je vais mettre un... Oh, good, good question here. Yes. Do we go darker to lighter? You know, I'm not sure. I haven't read that anywhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, so, I'm really doing whatever. And I'm adding in... I wonder, so yeah, I wonder if it so matters, thick? the order. I have a feeling that I need to mix my white. Yeah, I would, I would wonder if it matters what order you pour them. I mean, I'm sure it's it matters. It's a good question, but I don't, I think your main thing is not to put two colors right next to each other that make brown. Okay, yeah. So if you try and stick neutral to your colors, si on essaie, la question était, est-ce qu'il faut qu'on met le plus foncé jusqu'à la plus pâle? Puis moi, je trouve, okay, moi, je trouve mm -hmm. que j'ai besoin plus de pouring medium dans mon blanc. Um, moi, je pense que... Vraiment, si on ne on met pas deux couleurs, une à côté de l'autre, qui fait brun, à ce temps-là, ça va être parfait. So that's the big thing to watch so, out for. Regarde, j'ajoute juste un peu de pouring medium parce que je trouve ma blanc, euh, mon blanc n'est pas assez liquide. Donc, j'ai mis un peu plus de le pouring medium. Je vais tout mélanger maintenant, puis j'espère que ça va sortir encore. That's mieux. a great question, though, Valerie. Thank you for asking that. I'm so, sure people were wondering. These two bottles that I filled up here, ça c'est deux bouteilles qui viennent ensemble aussi en paquet pour Dina. Et ceux-là, comme ça, vous pouvez garder votre paint pouring déjà fait. Donc, s'il y a une couleur que tu as fait mélanger, tu l'aimes beaucoup, tu peux le mettre dans une bouteille. OK, j'essaie une autre fois. I think it's blocked. It's the tip. Yeah, I think I blocked the tip. Can you just do so, it for me? Yeah. I'm just going to do it like this. Because it's definitely pourable. There we go. <laughs> Valerie says, thanks. I like it when there are no rules. Yes. We do too. Well, that's what's so nice Which about this. Which fun, yes. I'm going to put a purple now. No rules. So I'm pouring some purple. And again, je sais pas la quantité que je le mets. Donc, je pratique. Je vais mettre un peu de bleu. <laughs> Are you putting white in between again? No, I'm going to put white now. I didn't put okay. it between each layer because I'm afraid I see how much white there yeah, is and I lot. don't want to... So maybe just a little je bit. Je ne veux pas mettre trop de blanc non plus. Mais je peux l'ajouter après que j'ai déjà fait mon pour. Je vais mettre maintenant yes, le lavandre. True. So I can add... If I need to add a bit it's more like white. It's like all disappearing in the blue, but it's yep. all there. Just don't well, mix it after. That's the I'm big thing. I'm not mixing, but I am going to re-add some colors. Okay, so we can do that. You can add. Yeah, I'm going to add again a little bit more color because I'm finding that I didn't put enough for this big canvas. All right. Donc, je mets encore un petit peu plus parce que je pense que j'ai pas mis assez pour le canvas. Et... Je veux une autre de la magenta ou c'est quoi cette couleur-là? Carrie's asking if they layer on top of each other. They, 
They kind of they kind of do, but I find them sinking in. Yeah. It's funny. I'm not sure. We can't see. On peut pas voir le visuel. Ça c'est à quoi ça a l'air là. Yeah. Mais on va voir plus quand on, je when verse it, sur yeah. ça. When we do the flip. Et puis maintenant je mets quelques gouttes de la Cell Magic. But I thought you can't uh, mix it, so you can't I'm mix it. I'm not going to mix okay. it. I'm going to leave it sit on top. And uh, we have another question from Odette. Do you think we can do this with metallic paint? Uh, yes, oui. and they actually have the American Craft has a full metallic set. Ils ont déjà set. un paquet déjà mel, uh, yeah. métallique. Mais comme tu l'as demandé, je vais vite mélanger un petit pot de métallique, puis on va voir. Parce que quand on a une question, on veut le répondre Excellent. tout de suite. Yes. So the, this is how I mixed the paints before, since you didn't see it. J'ai versé un peu de la peinture, puis après ça, ça j'essaie, je mets un, one third of the paint. Three times. Three times the pouring medium. So of course I've mixed up too much silver. Mais, can you really ever have too much paint? Et je le mélange. Diane Pilon dit, ça fait des belles mains. <laughs> That's the real <laughs> Puis j'ai des gants ici, picture. mais j'ai complètement oublié de le mettre. So, and you just mix it, and now it's pourable. So, October, we're calling it, I'm part of a buying group called Crafter's Home, and we're a bunch of stores that buy together. And we have come up with Craftober, like there was stamp timber, we decided Craftober is a very good month. And so we're gonna all be very crafty. So sometimes I might link up some of their videos because all of us are doing videos for our stores. And so please keep keep watching us for Craftober. Yes. Donc ça c'est la couleur métallique. Okay. Puis maintenant j'ajoute un petit it? peu. Why you can not? mix the American crafts with Yes. Me? As it's long paint. as the pouring medium's in there. Oui. Yes. On veut toujours avoir le pouring medium pour le faire assez liquide. All right. Okay. Est-ce qu'on est prêt? We're ready. I want the, someone drum roll. Du, 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 du. Tout okay. le monde est prêt. Okay. God knows the mess we're going to make. So excited. And this is still curbing. Curb? Well, now you're getting careful because you're going to I know. I know. Lift. That's fine. I, I'd rather have the lift. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, uh, Bonnie there. Bell just said I would love to do that on a countertop, and I think yes. that, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Let's go. Now, I can control or not control this. We so don't want I can too move, much control. I can move my cup around and lift just a little. Oh. <gasps> Look at the color. Sorry, I squeaked again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now. That is beautiful. Someone get this girl a dirty martini. Yeah. Look at these drops. Yeah, the drops like might I just leave. don't even want to. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. So, again, we'll start moving it. You can see the metallic in there. You can, of course. There goes our paint. This one's for my room. This is for your room? Yeah, these are my colors for in my room. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Question is, did I put enough paint? I think you did. Sorry, I'm kind of following her movements over here. Don't make anybody dizzy. Yeah, sorry. I love the that the the little drops after left like these little darker spots. Okay, moi je suggère que j'ai pas fait, mais moi je suggère quand vous mettez quelque chose en dessous, mettez quelque chose plastique. So I suggest that you put something plastic underneath, so that toutes ces gouttes là, quand ils sèchent, tu peux les ramasser, puis tu peux les mettre dans un comme sur une canva ou quelque chose, parce qu'ils vont complètement sécher en gouttes acryliques, puis tu peux le sauver. Oh, oh that's voilà. cool. You cut them and yeah. That's cool. I want a little bit more white. Come on. Oh, people are loving this one too with the colors. I'm yes, it is quite it. a thick consistency. Yeah, this one is. And I'm going to now add. Just free. This is just free pour here. I'm going to add a little bit more of this color over here. Just to be able, because like I said, I, j'ai pas encore. 
Je comprends pas encore le montant de peinture yes, qu'il faut not... mettre dans une tasse. We're learning here. Pour juger so la, la grandeur de notre canvas. It's so pretty. But you uh -oh. can do that. You can mush with the finger. You can mush with the finger. Be. I watched Dina do it. Okay, so, so Dina, Dina did okay. it. So it's okay. If Dina did it, c'est parfait. Elle a fait ça. Avec son doigt. Okay. Maintenant, je fais. Mais garde, ça continue It's à still couler. still moving, yeah. Et ça va continuer oh. à couler jusqu'au temps que ça sèche. Mais il faut laisser au minimum 24 heures avant que ça va sécher au complet. But I love on the box. I really hope I can recuperate some of that paint. Yes, that's why it is good to, to put plastic underneath. Look at that. I can't gorgeous. see. Is it looking good? It is. We're almost covered. C'est presque couvert. Karen, you're missing all the fun. <laughs> gonna, yeah, exactly. He's going to have to watch after. Okay. I think you got it. I think we've covered it. Are we putting glitter? We're going to put a little bit of different things in there. Okay. Gautza. Wow. Je l'aime beaucoup, beaucoup. You still want it in your room? Yes. <laughs> okay. So. We have another quick question here before we uh, start with the other stuff from Bonnie. If yeah. you start the pour at one end, yeah. do you think you would get nice long streaks? So if you, I guess, if you didn't pour in the middle, you mean? Like if you put, if you did the flip up here, maybe? Potentially, but I still think it's going to blend because we aren't fully getting a 100% layer here. Oh, look at how the pink is starting I know. to come out I know, now. I love it. This here, like this part here, is so cool. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. I'm gonna... Everybody, this is what your hands will look yes. like after a, dir <laughs> after a dirty pour or any pour. But I'm going to try and uh, get a good tilted view after with no glare once everything's done. I am sorry, <gasps> but I need... Stop adding, you. I need some pink. I need some pink there. All right, I'm what else sorry. are we putting on this? We are going to put some glitter quickly on there. And some flakes. So American Craft has made some um, already mixed color palettes to go with. With the color palettes? With that... the colors that you have. Yeah. So you see, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of pink over here. And I feel that I need to drag it just for a second. And then I promise to stop playing. <laughs> Odette says, dirty hands is happy hands. Okay, we're just about done, guys. Give me two minutes, and I'm going to add on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I know. I know. Okay. All over the apron. I am going to add American Crafts Effet des Flocons. Okay? So they have gold, gold leaf, and, and they have this iridescent. I'm going to add some of the iridescent because this feels very wintry to me. But Denise a même noté que ça... Dans les shaker box, il va être aussi très, très, cool. très, très joli. Look how cool. Oh, we just had a question of price point for the metallic kit. I believe it's the same price. Same as, price. Yeah. Sont toutes les mêmes prix. So it's a set of four, and it's these metallic, it's called the metallic set of this oh, one. Oh, my goodness. Les flocons, tu le mets, moi, je peux continuer à le mettre. Ça, ça va coller dans la peinture, puis ils sont iridescents, donc ils cherchent la couleur. Qui est en dessous. Okay, I will even this out afterwards. Christine so, Levasseur says, I think once flat, it might continue to spread and not show streaks slash drippage as much. Well, it'll still move, but it should keep the, uh, it should keep a lot of the, this. Yeah, well, over here, it's a little bit light, but this pattern. Right now, I'm kind of crooked here. Okay, AOC American Crafts, il fait des kits. Il look at the flakes on there, they're so Il vous donne une colle pour aller avec le glitter. Donc, si vous avez oublié, if you forgot to put glitter on and you're like, oh, I really wish I had put glitter here, they have a glue, so you could put it on after. When it's dry, yeah. But if you put it on when it's wet, donc aussi dans ce paquet, j'ai le iridescent. But ceux-là, c'est comme silver stars, les Ooh. petits étoiles. Someone just said a starry night sky. Yep. So here's silver stars. 
So at this time, <laughs> Diane Pilon dit, Erin, chanceuse, tu vas avoir un beau tableau pour ta chambre. Oui. I would love this for my room. It's, 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 les couleurs vont ensemble. Les très, très belles. So this is, see the stars? Oh my God. So that's what I'm putting in. So je essaie de chercher les places avec le bleu foncé comme la ciel. Puis je mets les silver stars. I'm sorry, we're getting more glare with the flakes, but we're going to flip, we're going to try and get a good yes, view after. Yes, we'll get a good picture of it. Puis tu vas le voir les résultats plus tard. Yes, we will show you, hopefully, uh, either we'll post a picture of it dry, or maybe on Thursday we'll... J'espère de l'avoir jeudi pour yeah, vous montrer. Yeah, we'll go show quickly. So... And you don't want too much I'm glitter. I'm not putting too much glitter. I'm People just say looking. love love the glitter they love it okay yeah this could be it could be summery too as well yeah it's very very bright colors so you can see that my board is still a little bit curved yeah. so the paint is moving too much so i'm not getting a full coverage you see it's dripping here yeah. it's because my board is curved, it's curved yeah. si vous faites uh, vous avez besoin vraiment quelque chose plat puis une surface de laisser sécher aussi plat Parce que la mienne, tu le vois, c'est un peu, a little bit. je ne sais pas le mot pour warped, mais comme ça, la peinture, il coule encore, yeah. et ici, ça va être une couche plus mince que les côtés. Yeah. OK? So you need to try and get a flat, a flat board, but everyone who's saying, like, let's get pouring, and this is going to be my next fun project, I'm right there with you. I think this is so cool, and so much fun, so easy, and just so you never know what you're going to get. So, moi, j'aime les deux façons. J'aime celle de American Crafts que on a déjà mélangé, mais celle de Dina, j'adore les couleurs de ses peintures, puis c'est vraiment facile de les mélanger. Let's see if you if you can tilt it up a tiny bit just for one last view of this, just a tiny tilt. That's okay, because there's not too much paint. And there it is, guys. Tu le vois-tu? Gorgeous. Yes, we got it good here. You can put it back down so it... Just wanted to get one good look without the glare. Puis, uh, aussitôt qu'on ferme le, le film, là, moi, je vais ramasser toutes ces peintures-là avec un, comme un papier aquarelle. Yes. Ou même, regarde, je vais prendre ça, puis je vais le mettre dedans. At least to do something with it, yeah. Look at that. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Ooh. That's cool. Okay. All right. I've just discovered a new paint, a new painting technique. Garde ça. Donc, s'il vous plaît, perdez pas toute cette peinture-là parce qu'il est encore bon et il en a encore besoin. Donc, on va voir tous nos tapis, euh, yes. nos canvas. Jeudi, on va vous montrer à quoi ça a l'air parce que ça va être encore différent. So, we'll show you on Thursday what these end up looking like when they're dry. Thank you for experimenting yes. with us. Oh, quick last question. Dr dries, how long does it take to dry usually? A day? Oh, at least a day. Yeah. I would leave it for a day to two days if you can. Um, I was also using, Ken Oliver has media board. He has six by six and 12 by, uh, 12 by 12. These also, they're completely flat. They'd also be fantastic for yeah. pouring. And don't forget, Ken Oliver's coming here in October. We just opened registration for his classes. Don't you mean Craftober? Craftober. Ken Oliver's gonna be crafting with us in Craftober. Uh, so he'll be here on the 19th, 20th, and 21st. His classes are fantastic. Please call, sign up for them. He's a, a very delightful teacher. People loved him last year. And he's also going to let you get very messy. Donc, les cours de Ken Oliver sont déjà, ils commencent à faire plein. Donc, oublie pas de prendre ton place parce qu'on va s'amuser beaucoup, beaucoup avec des couleurs en mélanger aussi. Il ne fait pas des color pour, mais il fait beaucoup d'un gros mess avec ses produits, <laughs> puis c'est du fun. It's an organized mess. <laughs> Donc, encore, je vous dis merci, puis I had fun paint pouring with you. Happy Craftober! Thanks, everyone! Bye tout le monde, à jeudi, 4 heures! Bye! Bye.